Well, welcome everybody on Disciple J's uh, YouTube blog. Um, I'm honored to give a message here. Hey guys, uh, Jay here with a quick interruption. First of all, I just want to say thank you to Brother Robert, or Disciple Robert as he likes to call himself, uh, to highlight the distinction between being a Christian and a disciple and how a Christian is a disciple. Uh, thank you to him for doing this video. For those who don't know, uh, he's a brother who's actively teaching people and leading them towards repentance to Jesus. Uh, he's based out of Australia, and I will put a link to his own YouTube channel in the description so that you can check out some of his videos. Without further ado, I'll turn it back over to him. So, the three things, uh, three hallmarks of a disciple of Jesus. I can talk about my experiences as a disciple of Jesus and the three major things that I know are part of being a disciple versus when I didn't used to be a disciple of Jesus. And the main thing that brought me to be a disciple of Jesus was to know Jesus Christ himself. Because if I didn't know Jesus, then I couldn't be his disciple. Because how could I be his follower if I didn't know him whom uh, leads our master and Jesus came to know me because uh, he reached out to me in my sins and draw, drew me away to get ready for his return and I heeded and started to pray and to seek Jesus Christ in prayer and to ask Jesus to know me and so Jesus because he's real of course came into my life and gave me power over sin and uh, the new way to follow and so I came to know Jesus and so the second point of uh, being a disciple of Jesus is to then be led by his spirit because Jesus uh, gives us his Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us and it's written that the Holy uh, Spirit was sent to lead us while Jesus left the earth and to not leave us as orphans. And so I had grieved the Spirit for a long time, being in the world and not really knowing Jesus for, for fully, and not following Jesus and obeying him. But then since I became a follower of Jesus, then the Spirit could work with me and lead me on the right way. And it's not, it's not always easy, and sometimes you don't know, but if you pray and, and uh, listen, and then the Lord's going to show you things. And so the third thing uh, that I found being a disciple of Jesus and what it requires and things that you definitely need to have in your life is repentance. Because if you don't repent as a follower of Jesus, then you can start to drift away from the path of light. You see, I had a dream uh, about the path of light. And it was about Isaiah, I think it's chapter uh, 35, where it talks about the golden highway of holiness, that the way that goes to heaven. And in my dream, I saw this golden highway of light that went into the gates of heaven. And that is the path of walking the narrow way through the desert, being led by the Spirit and abiding in Jesus and keeping in repentance. We all easily can sin and fall away from this path and doom ourselves if we stay away from Jesus. But a disciple of Jesus knows that he can't and certainly must not stray away. And if he does, if he finds himself straying off this golden highway of faith and righteousness following Jesus in his power, then he must return and repent. And so I have found that you must repent of your mistakes and sins before Jesus, so that you stay on the narrow, holy way that is a, a way through the wilderness. And this world is the wilderness, and the way is the holy, narrow way. And on the outside of the holy, narrow way is darkness. And all around that darkness are demons and evil spirits and wicked things and people to tempt us away from the truth. So I found that that you have to be focused in repentance on Jesus Christ, keeping your mind and heart on him. And this alone is, is the, 
important part of being a disciple of Jesus and the hallmarks of being a disciple. And they can't be ever overlooked. Jesus bless you. Hey guys, okay, so I just want to quickly add on to what Brother Robert has already shared about uh, key distinctions in terms of being a disciple. And the two points that I want to talk about are one, that a, a true follower of Christ, a true disciple, a true Christian is not greedy and they are not attached to money and materialism. The second point I want to make is that a true Christian, a true follower of Christ, a true disciple is not self-righteous. And that's one of the biggest problems that we find in the church world today as well. So you have a lot of greed, you have a lot of hypocrisy, and you have a lot of self-righteousness. So for the first point about not being greedy, not being attached to money and materialism, I just want to highlight that Jesus was one of the only people that I know out of all the religions in the world who actually said the statement that we can't serve, we can't work for both God and money at the same time. According to Jesus, we'll end up cheating one of those two masters. Uh, they pull us in different directions. We'll be loyal to one and disloyal to the other. And so I just want to highlight that a true follower of Christ, when it comes to that decision of do they love God or money, do they hate God or money, they are very clear about hating money and loving God. And I just want to highlight that you can't do both. And a true Christian, a true, true disciple is able to recognize this and apply it in their own lives. The second point I want to highlight and to add to what Brother Robert has already shared is that a Christian, a true disciple, is not self-righteous. They know that their righteousness with God and their reconciliation with God is not based on their own goodness or anything that they can do to earn their salvation, but rather they realize that without Christ they are nothing and they are totally dependent upon Him for their salvation. Now that's a very important thing because it means that we are much less uh, harsh and, and judgmental towards others. You know, uh, Jesus was very much known for associating with publicans and sinners and people that were thought to be very unrespectable during his earthly ministry. And in the same way, when we truly realize and appreciate that in ourselves, we are not righteous and we very much need a savior, then we are a lot more loving, a lot more tolerant, and a lot more compassionate towards the people around us as opposed to the traditional kind of holier than you, uh, looking down on others, mindset that you often find with religious people, including a lot of professing Christians. So those are the two points I just want to add to this particular video. A Christian is not greedy, you know, they're not attached, attached or attracted to money and material things as their motive for what they do. And they are also not self-righteous. They appreciate that their, their righteousness and their only sense of reconciliation with God is through Christ and not themselves. Uh, so hopefully you got something from this video. If you did, please share it with someone. Please leave a comment if you have a, a thought or a question. And uh, yeah, remember, keep seeking the kingdom of God. God bless you all.